Hey, this is Guy from New Plastic, and this is a quick tip on how to get realistic, fully procedural, subsurface scattering based marble texture in Octane. You can get the SSS pack on my Gumroad with 36 materials, all procedural with models included. And you can support the channel on Patreon or on the YouTube membership, where you'll get this project file as well as many other things. Links to everything in the description. Shout out to Spencer Clark, Abhishek Singh, Lin, KV Davy, Tech You On, Just Hope Out, Yinning Gong, Elad, 3D Monkey Biz, Kaylor, Jake, She Was Lost, Marcus Arnold, Connor McSheffrey, Zetsk and Bjorn Kindler for being amazing patrons and members. Follow me on Instagram at ojink, subscribe, share, hit the bell, drink water, go to school, let's go. So I have a sculpture I got from 3dscans.com, rim light from the right, a background light, and a weak HDRI to diffuse the shadows. You can pause to see the settings. Specular Death and GI Clamp are way too high so we can bring them down. I'm on linear mode at 2.2 gamma and denoise are on. So let's add a universal material, change the BRDF mode to GGX, remove the metallicness, make the albedo black, turn transmission all the way up and change the type to diffuse, set IOR to 1.48, which is about right for marble. And let's add a random walk medium, set density to about 1800 and that depends on your object scale. And let's add a float node to the albedo, just over one, let's say 1.2. This will help the material not appear too gray. Now let's add an RGB spectrum to the radius and make it a very, very light cream color. We'll bring the bias all the way down so that we get more of the scattered effect. Now let's add an octane noise, set the projection to XYZ UVW and plug it into the transmission. And that will help us get that classic streaky look marble often has. Let's solo this node and just scale the noise down. Now let's change it to chips type, up the contrast, invert it, up the gamma and up the octaves and omega to get a lot of detail. And we can scale it up a little and that obviously depends on your object scale. Smaller objects will have larger streaks. And now we got these defined white electric streaks. Let's add a gradient node in between and change the black to white and the white to light gray. Now we'll have full transmission where the white is and less transmission where the gray is. And you can see that the model gets slightly darker where there is less transmission and we get this marbly effect. Great, now let's copy the noise, add the projection to it. And actually I forgot to turn on fake shadows in the comment tab. Now let's plug the noise into the bump channel and add a gradient node in between. And let's solo it and scale it down a little. Change the type to circular. And let's play with the gamma and scale until we get tiny black specks scattered across the surface. Let's reduce the contrast on the gradient. So we'll make the black 49 gray and the white 50 gray. And we can up the gamma a little on the noise to increase the size of the chips in the bump. Now let's copy this noise, plug the projection into it, plug it into the roughness channel and add a gradient node in between. And let's solo it and scale it down and play with the settings till we get this pretty subtle low contrast noise all over with a bunch of subtle details. And I want the specular to be pretty rough so we'll change the black to 50% gray and the white to around 90. So the roughness is pretty high all around. And we're pretty much done, but we can add one more level of details to the streaks to make them a bit more complex. So let's copy this transmission noise and plug the same transform node to it as well as the same projection. And let's combine them with a multiply node and plug that into the gradient. Now we want that top noise to mask out the bottom noise. So we can see the bottom noise has these white on black streaks. So we want to invert the top noise. And if we solo it and bring down the gamma, we get the exact same streaks, but black on white. And if we solo the multiply node, we can see that the bottom noise is barely showing because the black streaks from the top are overlaying the white streaks from the bottom noise. And now we can bring down the gamma of the bottom noise to reveal more white and play with the top noise to get more or less details or contrast to get our desired look. There's no rules here, it's totally up to you. And we should add a gradient node to the top noise and make the black more grayish. And now we can see that we get this gray noise with this white outline and a black background. Just makes it a bit more interesting. And if we solo the last gradient node, we can play with the nodes to increase the level of gray and we can really see the effect more strongly. And if you want to adjust the bump and roughness channels more easily, you can remove the transmission channel so that the surface will be fully black and that way it's way easier to see the details of the bump and the roughness. And I just made the bumps a bit smaller and decreased the gamma on the roughness noise to make it even rougher. And then just plug the transmission back in and you're done.
So that's how you get a very realistic marble texture. This would take longer to render because it has subsurface scattering and all that. But, you know, if you want to strive for ultimate realism, then this would be the way to go. It's also fully procedural, so that's always welcome. And if you want this material as well as many more, check out the SSS pack on my Gomroad. Hope you have a good day. I love you. Peace.